Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to a Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, this channel is all about beauty. We talk about fragrances, makeup, skincare, we do some unboxings and a bit of vlogging as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. <laughs> okay, uh, today's video is going to be a fragrance one. I have a haul for you and this is not just a regular fragrance haul. This is like a proper luxurious haul. So I have some like niche fragrances here or like kind of like private collections of brands that are not necessarily niche. And uh, just to let you know straight away, I don't usually blind buy niche fragrances. I think it's just not really worth it for the money that you have to pay. And I usually tend to prefer like classic design and fragrances over the niche sense. I know I shouldn't say that, but I feel like I, get more uses out more uses out of um uh, the designer fragrances these are like fragrances i pretty much can wear like all the time whether whereas with niche fragrances i do you know i have to be in the mood so they are lovely they are like uh works of art but at the same time i don't really feel like i would just use them properly like not all of them so i prefer to know what I'm buying. So most of these fragrances are not blind buys. There is one blind buy in here, but just we're, we're going to get to that. But I'm going to start with this one over here. This is uh, the Boutique Tam Dao, and this, the one I have is Eau de Toilette. Uh, this comes in Eau de Toilette and Eau de Profound version. I had a sample of it on like a mini, like a 10 mils mini from an advent calendar, I think, a couple of years back. And I really like that scent. So this was an easy choice for me. So this one is beautiful. It's a sandalwood based scent, but it does give me almost like an incense kind of vibe. Like this is a type, this is the kind of scent that I kind of associate with those kind of like um, Indian or like uh, hippie-ish kind of shops. It's something like that. It's just so beautiful. So the notes here are, uh, top notes, uh, Italian cypress, myrtle and rose, uh, middle notes, sandalwood and cedar, and then base notes of Brazilian rosewood, spices, amber and white musk. So as you can see, this is a beautiful, warm, spicy, woody scent. You have to like your sandalwood um, to be able to appreciate it. Uh, and you have to like kind of like spicy scent, but it's not like overly spicy. Like you don't really expect like a gingerbread kind of vibe here. It's just beautiful, nicely balanced, uh, warm scent. It's going to be perfect for summer, so I just can't wait to start using it. But now that this is going to be done, uh, this haul, I'm going to put it on my shelf and I'm just going to start using it, which is amazing. Uh, okay, uh, also I did have this mini, like 10 mils, and I kind of, I don't know what I've done with that. I think I lost it, so yeah, that's perfect time uh, to have a full-size bottle now. Okay, the next one is uh, by uh, Maison Francis Cook de Jeanne, and this is a Gentle Fluidity Gold. And uh, again, not a blind buy. I uh, I have tested this one before. Um, to be honest, I mean, I purchased this with a um, gift of purchase from Harrods. Um, I mean, just use that gift of purchase as an opportunity to buy some fragrances. Uh, and I was actually thinking, I was trying to decide between this one and the Oud Satin Mood, but I decided that uh, this one is better for like summer. So that's why I just got this one. This is the first uh, full size um, Cordigian uh, fragrance bottle in my collection. Uh, I actually love his creations. So I'm hoping there'll be more fragrances joining my uh, fragrance kind of shelf now. Uh, but this one is just so beautiful. This is like a ambery vanilla. Mm, it's just so pretty. Do you know what, guys? Like, usually with vanilla, I kind of tend to choose something that's almost like edible, like smells like something edible, uh, like very kind of scrumptious, gourmand-ish kind of scent. This one, it's completely opposite. This is like a woody vanilla. It's just super elegant. It just smells luxurious. It's so, so, so beautiful. Uh, so this is not my classic, my typical vanilla, but it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I can't really stop stop smelling it now. So yeah, super excited to have it. So this one is quite linear. Uh, that means that it will probably smell the same after like four hours. It won't really change that much, which I mean, I don't really mind because I love the opening here, so I don't really mind this. Uh, the notes here are vanilla, amber, musk, woodsy notes, juniper berries, nutmeg, and coriander. Beautiful scent, guys. I'm just super excited to have it. And again, this was not a blind buy, as I mentioned. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, now we have like two Lalique fragrances, and this one, 
not a blind buy again. So this is Glorious Indigo. Uh, this is how it looks. And uh, to be honest, the packaging kind of suggests that this is more like a masculine scent. Uh, it is described as a fragrance for like a unisex scent. But I do have like two other fragrances from this collection uh, in this kind of like cream packaging. And I think the other two were targeted mostly at women and this one seems to be more masculine but i don't i'm not really too bothered um so what if it looks quite masculine but i think it's stunning anyway this is the bottle these bottles are just so beautiful just look how beautiful they are so you have this like uh, kind of like a frosted glass almost here everything like every single detail about this bottle is just so stunning see beautiful uh okay let's have a quick sniff oh this is stunning i mean all of these fragrances i have like this is my third fragrance from this kind of line all of them are just so beautiful so this is like a woody uh spicy scent it is beautiful i think like aren't all fragrances i purchased this time slightly woody i think they all are but that's fine that's that's perfectly fine i think i kind of feel uh, like I prefer that kind of vibe this uh, season, so that's going to be perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the notes. So the top notes here are cinnamon and ginger. Uh, then we have middle notes, javanol, labdanum and precious woods. And then base notes of guayac wood, uh, papyrus, black amber and patchouli. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's pretty much woody, uh, it's, sli it's slightly spicy and you can get that papyrus here um, like for sure. I don't really get much patchouli. I think it kind of it kind of gets like lost in this kind of like woodiness but this is just so beautiful and it's definitely unisex so this could be easily worn by when men and women uh but i think like all the fragrances from this pretty much line are quite unisex as well so that's great okay so we're down to the last fragrance and this was a blind buy actually this lalique illusion captive uh this was the only blind buy and to be honest like it's probably like one of the most expensive or the most expensive fragrance of them all but i didn't really pay the full price for it uh i just found it in a good like kind of deal um on notino they have like really good deals sometimes uh and i just uh, the deal was so good that i decided to blind buy it like it was really good it was really good so this is how i have it i just checked the notes and what they say about it on fragrantica and then i was like yeah I need to have it so look at the presentation of it i mean this is crazy right so we have this box and then we have this chest over here and this is just so beautiful the only thing is that you get your finger kind of print all over it but it's still just so stunning like everything about it is super luxurious it just feels luxurious it's very heavy as well and you just open it and there you go this is our fragrance like the presentation is just amazing okay so this is the bottle uh the classic bottle i think it was designed by uh, rene lalique himself uh in like early uh, 1900s uh it is really stunning but like a very kind of classic bottle so this is how it looks right and let's have a quick sniff mm. Oh boy, this is just beautiful. This <laughs> this just smells so luxurious. Uh, I will probably say that uh, this fragrance, like the uh, Glorious Indigo, was a little bit more modern. Uh, this is not like super old school. Um, I wouldn't really describe it like that, but it's a little bit more like, I think it's even more like, even classier, even more like luxurious, uh, a little bit more rich, woody again uh woody a little bit spicy very very warm it's such a beautiful beautiful scent oh my god i just can't i, I think i'm just going to just spray it all over and this is going to be my scent of the day oh this is just so stunning oh my god <laughs> okay the notes oh god i just can't this this fragrance is just so beautiful the top notes bergamot and fig i don't really get much fig I don't really get much fig here, but I think it's just kind of they're like there's like so much going on here that that fig note is not the most prominent here. The middle notes of jasmine and cinnamon. Then we have base notes of myrrh, cedar, patchouli, labdanum, tonka bean, and vanilla. And definitely woody. Uh, that myrrh note is quite uh, noticeable there. We have some spices and uh, a little bit of like that 
kind of a creamy sweetness that comes probably from tonka and the vanilla. I don't really get much florals here. Not at the first sniff, but um, yeah, it's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It could definitely be unisex. It doesn't really lean masculine or feminine. It's just very unisex in my opinion. And the presentation is everything like, oh my God, look at that. That is just so beautiful. Uh, I don't usually keep like boxes about this. I mean, you just don't really check this out, right? You just have to keep it soon because it's just so stunning. So yeah, these are the four fragrances I purchased recently. This is my luxurious fragrance haul. What do you guys think? Have you tried any of these scents? I mean, I'm pretty sure you have tried like at least one of one of the first two fragrances because uh, they are quite popular. But do let me know in the comment section down below what do you think, uh, whether you've tried these or not, whether one of these fragrances may be on your list. Uh, and yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. For more fragrance related videos, check these ones over here. And I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.